Welcome everyone to an arena video. This is Andrea Mangucci and this video is sponsored to you by channelfarball.com and Ultimate Guard. Sí, puedo, puedo mm. Okay, what did we open? We opened Gallia. Gallia, other than being the... Other than being a... The place that conquered our town back in the days, you know, Senigallia, that's where the town that I'm from. It's also a magic card that it's right here in front of your eyes. It's pretty crazy, it just does a lot of fun things. It is also pretty unfortunate that it's red green, which is one of the worst combinations together with probably white blue. So here we are, not taking Gallia. We have Nessian Orb Beetle, also known as Sarmogoyf, also known as. Uh, also known as, I don't know, Tumana, very good card. Final Death, too boring. I don't want to take Final Death first pick. Just take the National Ward Beetle and see what's going to happen. Dark Sauce, the Blast by the Sun. I would not take this card even if their other option was Pirate's Wayfarer, probably. So let's see what else. Blight Breath, Katoblipa. A Entrancing Liar is just a way to stay open. Entrancing Liar is uh, like Vedakan Shackles. But you don't take control of the card, you just stab it. You don't need islands. Catalip is good, and green black is a very powerful combination. The rare is missing, so the bots are not telling us anything here. I am going to take a liar. Okay, the classic third pick national or beetle. We are what we ever eyes on Flamoxet Cyclops now. We want them to wheel because I saw them a couple of already. Okay, Helios Pilgrim is definitely a signal. I mean, not that there's many signal, but. Omen of the Forge is not a good card. Just, just, just don't assume this card is, is a removal spell. This card is like a two mana. I don't know. Three, two, basically. Let's take Helios Pilgrim and see what's going to happen. I don't necessarily need to be green white. I just I just want to take the best card in that pack. So the Alias Forerunner is good with National Orb Beetle. We must take another Alias Pilgrim, I think. Oh, Mystic Repeal. This card is super good. Okay, Skola Grove Dancer is a filler. Revoke Existence, we already have Mystic Repeal, I don't want to take too many of those effects. Skull Group Dancer is a filler that you can play, although we already have two National Order Beetle, so I think it's better if I make another pick here, like something that I would like to have if I wasn't a different color, like something that can give me a direction. Which could be a Stampede Rider if we want to do the National Order Beetle deck. So that is what I'm going to do, which is not a very good card usually, but I think that's better than just taking another card in that spot. I think Flicker of Fate allowed this card, is very powerful. Again, I like to be open, especially on Arena where you never run out of playables. Like, look at this pack. It has six cards and all of them are, like, pretty good. So on Arena, just don't lock yourself in colors until, like, very late. I mean, you can lock yourself whenever you want, but just, just, just like, make sure that, you know. Okay, here are all these cards, like, playables, but not something exciting. I think I'm taking Omen of the Hunt. Uh, actually, maybe Hero of the Winds. Yeah, whatever. Hero of the Winds looks like fine. No, come on. White again. All right, Hero of the Pride. No, the two... The two Cyclops did not wheel. That isn't a great sign. Okay, my first pack was... A Naya pack. Laptop Myth... Yeah, Laptop Mick Mango, indeed. The Drone Wife. Never picking white again. Yes, that's exactly what we did. We never picked white again. Joking. Okay, so there's nothing here that's exciting. I'm just gonna take a drag to the underworld. I mean, I could take the Labyrinth of Scopos, but this is just like... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take the best card for a while. Because I still haven't decided what to do. Okay, so I'm just gonna hide red. Okay, despite I have two National Horn Beetle, I still think... Oh wait, I just realized that I don't have... Wait, nobody nobody said anything, so assume you don't care, but I didn't have a Carball I've opened. Alright, so there's a lot of good cards in this pack. 
There's a World War Bear Blessing, which is pretty good. There's a Renatina, which is the card I'm gonna see, because this card is very good. Especially with National Orpedo. I don't know especially why I said especially, but I do like Renata, so I'm gonna take it. Yeah, exactly, right? Mythic Rank Chat does not need it. The, the thing. Alright, Bronze Sword. Uh, actually, what if we keep Bronze Sword around for a while? Because we do have a National Orn Beetle. I also kind of don't mind taking some aura at some point because I have two Elias Speedworm in my deck. I probably don't want to take it this high in Double Double Will. I think it's too high here. Do we just take an Elias Forerunner? Like, this card is not good, but I do need some, like, creatures. I think another Mystic Repeal. I'm just gonna take an Elias Forerunner. Oh no. Warden of the Chain, so good with two National Orb Beetle. It's like one of the most powerful combo you can do in stand in, 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 in limited. Although Karamatra's Blessing is also the card that you like in these kind of decks. Yeah, I'm just gonna take Karamatra's Blessing. Whoa, National Orb Beetle number three. Funny enough, white is even closed. Alright, I'm not locked in white. I am not locked in white. I do have a lot of white cards, but I'm not locked in white here. Okay, chat? You picked me. Dexland, that's not a nice thing to say, right? Didn't take spider. No, I did not take spider. I think if you don't self mill spider is not a very good card. We'll take Myth Uncommon for the Vault. Trashanet Envoy. I'm mean, gonna take Stumpy Rider. I think Stumpy Rider can be good in my good, good in my deck. Alright, Plummet for Cyber, because we're playing we're playing the the real people draft here. We're playing best of three, so we kinda do need cyborg. Okay, new new pack. What do we open? We open all the Leo's Pilgrim in the world, although we don't have any auras. I think I'm gonna just hide all my white cards. Can I make a playable deck? If I if I start drafting red green now. After I've passed all the good cards in red green. Can I make a playable deck right now? Starting with this Anax. Let's see. Alright, we have four of a kind. Now all we need is a creature that costs four. Okay, sorry, for power. Yeah, that's a Warden of the Chain. I think I have to take it over World Brian Blessing. I think I will, I will play Bronze Sword, guys. I will play Bronze Sword. Okay, this is a dude that has four power more. Aspect of the Manticore is a good combat trick. I don't like this guy. This might be the first draft ever where someone finishes short on Arena. So what about this? I already have one aspect of the Manticore, but this card looks pretty good. Especially with like all the National Orb Beetle, so yeah, I'm gonna take it again. No, I, I don't play Hydra's Growth. Oh, Furious Rise, this card is very powerful. Dexland, thank you for the subscription, welcome, welcome to the channel. As we are playing some red green cards. I'm taking Red Runs Pursuit. Ooh, the Hound Wield. Okay, we finished the 23 playable. That's nice. Oh, Giant Strength. I'll play Giant Strength in my deck. A lot of plummets, I like it. Okay, so we just switched red green at the end. Need removal, Monk IS. Need removal. Yeah, I need removal. I do have the liar. I have giants. I have a, a, me, a mystic repeal. Does that count as a removal? It doesn't, right? I think I'm not gonna play school at Grove Dancer. I already have enough four drop. Sorry, two drop. I kinda wanna play this bronze sword in my deck. I might just not play this. I have no escape cards. How many creatures do I have in my deck? 15. Yeah. I mean, this deck is not great. I do have four of this. 
So if I ever curve out this into this into like four into a four four power creature, finally enough I don't have many. Like I don't have any of the cyclops that can't block. That's pretty weird. Under or great jump. Oh yeah, this is my only escape card. Yeah, I still think that I don't really want to relentless burst with because the, the the odds of missing with this card are, are real and like you play this only if you have like real uh, reasons to do so. Diesel Rage. Play first. Alright, maybe 17 lands are not enough for this deck. Um, there's a one lander on the play. Do we want to keep it? I think I have to go down to five cards. Ma che Madonna! All right, I guess we have to keep this. Um, a bottom of Colossus. See, you're a ghost opponent. All right, I'm gonna bottom Anax. I mean, Anax, I could play at some point. Just a, 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 a bit of Horn Beetle. Wow, this is solid. I'll uh, I'll just attack for four here. I mean, if I knew I would have drawn two lands, I would have just you know no Malik in my starting hand. Ictomorphosis, Stromona lands in the meanwhile. Pretty cool. I mean. I don't feel favorite, but at least I have a chance. I picked the Hydra Tag Scout. Oh, that's a mistake. Aliros and Ruptured. That's a good card. Wow, I drew Monolens for real. <laughs> okay, I'll trade here because the National Beetle does not have an ability because of the Ictomorphosis. So since I want him, since it was basically a zero one, I like that trade. Oh yeah, behind me there's a head. Yeah, it's a mirror. You don't like it, guys? I have to, I have to go, I have to go back to this. Can I please sacrifice a creature? All right, I'll sacrifice a creature. Okay, and a pretty awful draw here. The Lyra says power, right? Yeah. So I'm not gonna keep the the, the actually it keeps three, so I think two artifacts in play in this format is is pretty hard. So I'd say I did it. Can't attack unless yeah, so we can block. Sweet oblivion, now I found cool my dich. Why? This card is not good. Yeah, unfortunately, they don't mail the Rage Hound. Yeah, I'm very tanned. I am actually very tanned here. I did, uh, I did take a lot of sun by just walking in the forehead and in the neck. Thank you, Teamer. Did I pass? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll decline. I should have thought that the climb meant that I would untap this, but it looks like I did not untap it. Yeah, next time I will say, I guess, take action then. Yeah, yeah, we are, we are, we are together, we are together here, Mr. Dexlan. In the meanwhile, my opponent is milling me, they play two a card. It would be, feel pretty bad to lose to a deck like that, but... Oh, sorry, I'll take action because I want to tap that. Pretty funny how I drew one spell. Kept the one lander on five cards and drew one spell. Alright, I'll pass here. I don't even bother tapping that guy. Mm. 
Nayada, va bene. Alright, this is a big blocker, although a is milling me down, I have 20 cards in my deck. Which are basically infinite. This game reminded me, uh, PT... PT, you know, the last PT, PT Throne of a Drain, where I had like a broken deck with like Amber Cleave, Bone Crusher Giant, Wicked Wolf. It was like the best deck ever. And I played against Mill, and then milled all the time like good cards, and then drew a land. And that, and that, and that felt bad. And I kind of have the same memories right now, because I was playing red green, so it's exactly the same memories. Ooh, that's a great draw. This is a very good draw. I'm just not playing my last land. Hopefully, they don't have a counter. They don't have a counter opponent. My Bafanculo! Also, the worst counter in the magic history. Alright, Ash Exeration, also known as 4 mana cancel, will exile my Scopus assistant. I do have the, um, the Mystical Repeal to turn this down. Underworld Dreams. Good game? Oh, Kamadoska! Can you imagine losing to Dungeon Dreams Street Oblivion deck? Maranna mia! Okay, do I tap? I, I'll tap. Hard four was. Yeah, I should lay it, but I don't really, I don't really bother to spend time like that. I should not leave that tapped. Aspect of the Mantico, Madonna che merda. I'll pass. I will pass the turn. Oh, but I, you know what? I'm gonna play all the cards that's mill. Ooh! That's an attack. That's an attack I did not expect. Alright, they said, you know what? I think that. I can't sacrifice my 2-3 to deal you 2 damage. It's worth it. Oh, because I want to flash back the Sweet Oblivion, I see. Yeah, we're going to burn them out in our mill deck. That's exactly what's happening right now. Okay, mill 4. Oh, we made a lot of lands. I think, I think I'm going to draw a spell. I feel it. I feel we're going to draw a spell. Mamma mia. This is not a very good deck, guys. This was not a very good deck. Yurko, why do you have to say that? We just have way too many pump spell, I think. I mean, I would play 15 creatures, that's just a reasonable number. Although one of them does not attack if something else doesn't happen, so... Spirit Mantle main phase. Alright, uh, do I want to decline? I think I will decline, I will, I will, I will untap. Okay, I drew Renatina, benissimo, benissimo, benissimo. Alright, we can finally start attacking here. So we play Renata. Actually, we can't, well, this is a 3-3. I can keep this and attack for 4. How many cards have in my deck? 11. I kind of just want to tap this down, because if this thing deals damage, it's actually annoying, because it means me for 3. They can just mill themselves too. I think I'm gonna just take this turn off. The next turn I can pump Renata with the with the bronze sword and then do some other things. So I'll top this down. Auto pay. So I just don't I just don't want to get mailed here. Yeah, I'll leave that. I'll leave the Lara tapped. Okay, underworld underworld hound. That's good. So I'll play the hound. So thanks to Renata, the Hound will be a 4-2, and I can attack with a Warden and Chain. And they have zero cards in there, because I decided to play every single land drop, to not bluff anything. So I can attack like this. Yeah, I think this is a good attack. I think we actually win this game. Pretty funny, we did literally nothing. We might have gone to 5, we kept the 1-lander, but our opponent with the combo, mill, and... Uh, basically, it's like the Mulligan to 4. Alright, they double blocked, but we will play the powerful. No play Aspect of the Manticore? Yeah, right? So that becomes an 8, so it kills both of my cre the creature exactly. It's pretty cool. Alright, so. Yeah, that's a very lucky opponent. We got very lucky this game, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, this is, uh, you know, not your fault.
you, you did all your code, you definitely play great. I send in a Y. Um, yeah, so right now it's they are, the worst I, I bet they will be, begin at 9 a.m., which means. Which means. Uh, which means 20 p.m. in Italy. So it's 8 p.m. Friday in Italy. Sissy 20 p.m. but <laughs> All right, we attack it all, and we win the game. Yes, yeah, Cinder, that's the joke. My, my my stream is very much sarcastic. Sometimes I say things that are not real. I hope my chat gets it sometimes. Some other times it's fine, it's hard. Also, I love to say that I get lucky. This is one of my favorite things in Magic. People just get so mad when you say you got lucky. All right, what do we do? Uh, so we're playing against... Uh, Blue black traditional draft. Yeah, we're very traditional people over here. We like we like to see Sanremo. Very traditional. Oh Laura. We have another dude. Do we want to just board in more creatures? Yeah, I think I want to board out giant strength and wings of Hoopers in this matchup. I'll bring like random creature like Skola Grove Dancer and Nixborn Brute. Just because I think I need some bodies. Yeah, I am enjoying Hawaii. I'm enjoying Hawaii a lot. I've been I've been doing sightseeing for three days, and now the business begin. I'm gonna play some magic and might as well stream it, right? Because why don't you wanna stream my angry bronze bronze sword and mystic repeal? Don't throw a job around, Dexlin. Thank you, Zio Carol. Oh, a good old sweet oblivion. All right, chat. Don't put sweet oblivion in your deck. Put a mill instead of the together with this or some mountain. A uh, they mill again. So once again, unfortunately, from opponent the mulligan to five. Not only the mulligan to five, they also missed the turn, second and the third turn. Alright, we'll play a Hyrex Tower Scout. And we untap the coin position. When is words? Uh, follow me on Twitter or Instagram. I post a lot of like kinda, you know, cool uh, words hype thing. There's like some cool videos interviewed. They have done a lot of stuff to, to promote words. It's gonna be this weekend. I have a bad voice, I'm sorry. Uh, what do we do? So I can play my my girl Renata, or I just attack and trade. I think attacking and trade is pretty good. It's like it's what they call two for one. Our mana base is, is like nine eight, which like is not great for limited, but I'm still probably have too many two draw, too many double red. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love I love promos. I love any promos. I I use any promos. I use any promos, judge promos, FNM promos, DCI, pre-release promos. That's that's my favorite promos. The 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 the, the pre-release promos are. Okay, I'm gonna mystic repeal this Nixborn Sea Guard. Then I'm probably just gonna play this, right? Yeah, it's just larger. Thank you very much, Apollo, for this gift. Also, them just milling me over and over means this that this guy is just endless. Okay, the lesson that I hope you guys learn at home right here is that Sith Oblivion is not a main the card. You can play it in a cyber if you get paired against green and black, but don't put this card in your deck at any point. Are you messing around with Esper much lately? Oh yes, yes. I've been, I played a lot of Esper, Balsak. If you check exclamation mark decks, there's my latest there's my latest build, I think. So Don't worry, Kiori. Thank, thank you very much for the offer, but don't worry. Thank you. They say good game. It wasn't really a very good game, but I'll, uh, I'll guess. I guess. Still nice to say. Why is it good against Green Black? Because Green Black mills itself a lot. So sometimes you just do suitably on your own. You help yourself with your escape cards. 
and then you're just you just kill your opponent with Sweet Oblivion on them. That's actually how I died uh, at the PT in my in my first round. My second rule: don't play this card. This is even so. Cancel is already a bad card. Four mana cancel is already a bad card. This is even worse than that because it dies to like an enchant removal spell. So just never put this card in your deck. They are they dead? They they are. Alright. We got the first one. I think I'm gonna change my deck list a little bit. I think I need more creatures. My deck has way too many my deck has way too many palm spell and combat tricks, equipment, stuff like that. Oh cool. I I love cosmetics. I, I love this kind of cosmetics. Alfred says hello Freeze. Thank you very much for helping. Helping my friend. You wanna say something? Thank you, Freeze. <laughs> Alright, so I have to cut some palm spells. I think I like Hack I'm just gonna cut giant strength. I'm gonna keep the bro stable. I mean. Alright. All right. If you guys want to check some Insta stories from my Hawaii trip, my friend over here is uh, my friend over here is uploading them on Instagram. So there's uh, yeah, there's like many cool places that we visited. We went to the Diamond Head, we went to Danauma Bay, West Coast, big waves. It was it was nice. Uh, waiting on your opponent. Okay, I think this deck is actually not the worst, like, reasonable. I sure can razor shoot it cost blue blue. Yeah, that's that's a good point you're making. Alright, my hand is not very good. Right? I don't think it's keepable. I think I should not, I should stop Malion in though, because I always receive the same end. I'm gonna probably bottom wings of Hubris. They need lands. I kind of want both of these cards in case they kill one of them. And Furious Rise is actually a good card here. Yeah, I think I, th I think my Mulligan's decision have been have been okay. All right, I got two lands. Now I wish I wish I bought my other thing instead of the Wings of Ubers, but. Looks like we're playing against blue red, so they still have a lot of flyers, which makes my wings of Ubers way worse. Way worse. Ali Ross and Raptured, one of the definitely a great card. Okay, Renata is a good draw. It's only unfortunately a three-three on its own, so it's not gonna trigger a Furious Rise, but if it costs blue blue would be crazy good, it is not crazy good. It was just, it would be fine. It would be it would be a good counter spell that still dies to neutralize, so it's still awkward. It's it's nice to have good cards sometimes, you know. It's okay to have good cards. Okay, my opponent with the classic two mountains and then two trees drop of different colors, which is a feature of this cues apparently. Okay, we put the Renata into play. Oh, it's not a three three; it's a two three, which is much worse than a three three. Do you like blue red in draft? Um, yeah, yeah, blue red is good. Ictomorphosis. And attack me for seven. Do I want to chum block? I think I chum block. That's four damage that I'm saving. Alright, put Nelly's four on the end of stir and trigger the Fuhrer's Rise. Bronze Sword, that's uh, fine. It's obviously not great, but we got it for free, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is a very good for them. They attack me for seven, kill my creatures. I feel like I'm going behind here. I'm falling way behind, way too behind, way too much behind. Bronze Sword, Nalia's Forerunner, pass the turn. Uh, I'm gonna play Nalia's Forerunner, not because I think it's better than this, but just because I wanna use the Furious Rise ability. 
What do they have? What do you have? Dialogue 56k. Okay, just that. And discarding. Weird. This could just have a good card. What do I exile? Or another chained. Yeah, it's uh, it's a it's a good find here. This card is amazing. Fury's right is definitely one of the reasons to be red green. One of the few reasons to be red green, actually. Oh no, with our enchantment. Actually, I'm gonna trade with uh, this favor of Eros. I'm just too much down in life total to not trade here. Okay. Let's play this for free. Let's play the scout. What does this do? Okay, so untapping the other us is not is not very smart, so let's not do that. Exile card, unfortunately, it's just a forest. Uh it might it might not work, maybe. Maybe it doesn't work. What says update is available? Start update now. Okay, thanks for reminding me. If I had the second monitor, I would definitely put that in the second monitor, but I don't. Okay. All right, now it works for everybody. So they played the classic Debra Chimera. Can you imagine putting in your deck Underworld, Rage Hound, Aliras, and Rapture, and Chimera in the same deck? And just flawlessly being able to play all of them. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Must be nice. Alright, I'm on one life, so I am dead on board. Good game. Madonna mia. Hashtag find your champ. Yo. <laughs> allora. So, I am playing against uh, Jeskai cards. I think Plummet could be good. I'm gonna take out Wings of Hubris. But also board in Giant Strength for Bronze Sword. Just some edge against the Flyers. I usually am very happy to play Best of Three Magic, because at least when these decks like that, like three colors, full like that happens, they can draw well one game, but they're less likely to draw well three games, right? So if you play best of one, you're, you know... That's why I say best of one is more variance, because in best of three, it's kind of evened out. Like, our previous deck was awful, so we went one-two. It was... And I predicted a very easy one-two, you know? Not that this one's good, honestly. I've not been drafting very well, I, I think. Hello, Dezar. I'm trying since the release... Green white enchantment. It's never a waste of time. If you enjoy playing magic, it's never a waste of time. Uh, I don't think it's particularly good deck, but Calyx could be powerful if you exploit it. If you see Crooked streams, he he likes a lot. He likes a lot Calyx. And playing Anax in a deck with eight mountain is just not a thing you can do. Like you do it, but you shouldn't be like surprised if you're missed. Like, to cast it on curve, okay? You don't have to cast a double red on turn 3, you probably need like 10 sources. Maybe even even more. That's why I don't play best of one, yeah, that's why I don't play best of one either. Alright, that's a Lyran to play. We need, we, need, we need something here. Maybe a Mountain would be the start. Alright, I put in Founder Tron. Full Jess guys already. You're the next board, that's an enchantment for my Mystic Repeal. I draw Mountain, very good draw. So what can I do is playing Anax. And I think I'm gonna just repeal this next board here or whatever it's called. Because I don't want my opponent to to block. So I'll just, I'll just I don't I don't want this thing to die basically, because if next turn I I play this, or I can even play Aspect of the Mantic or Main Phase to put a counter on this. All right, outside there's uh, some classic American uh, police or I don't know what. It's very loud, very loud. I am like at the 11th floor, like pretty far from the main road. Okay. 
All right, I play favorite Robert Roas. That's good. Classic American cheese. It's actually not even short. How, how long is it taken? Like, if you listen to my stream from home, that you will never hear anything like this. Cause, you know, it's like life, normal, normal life, normal Italian life. It's a lot. What's going on there? All right, I think I'm going to go Aspect of the Manticore on the Annex. Because this card only triggers if you have another creature with power four more. And I think I'm down in trading. Yeah, I think I'm going for this play. It's awkward. Yeah, and they're never catching you for sure. Hello, the Frozen One. Yeah, I know I have to enchant the Annex, yeah. Okay, um... Actually, I don't want my opponent to be able to, to trade, so I'm just gonna tap the... All right, they 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 found they found their guy. No more no more chasing in the street of Honolulu. So we tap the token so they can't double block. Although their deck's full of color, could just find like I don't know most for this, and then it's awkward. Stern dismissal. That was not the right time to find it, but I guess I put and got me with this. Uh, uh, with their perfect just guy mana, three of possibilities, turn this missile, die chimera. Kinda, you know, a graveyard that you look at this graveyard and be like, hmm, something's wrong here, but not for my opponent. Everything is perfect for my opponent. I guess I should have not maybe done this, I don't know. Maybe I should have just attacked. What do they do? I don't know. They block and play this and they blow me off. Uh, it's fine, whatever. Thank you, Miss Salumiere. Uh, do I want to untap that thing? I think I'm not going to untap. Or maybe I am. Mm, yeah, I'm going to untap. Pewter's Rice. Not very good here. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to play Anax and attack for three. And they go to 10. More thrill of possibility. Opponent is very thrilled to play their deck. I hope you brought a few spare scarves. Yeah, I did. I did bring two scarves. Although it's quite it's quite hot outside, so I'm not gonna use it outside. In the, in, the, in the location, it's usually pretty cold, so I'm definitely going to bring the small one. Not really already in Hawaii. I am in Hawaii. Like, it's pretty late. It's pretty late for words. Words is going to be in a in few days, so yeah. Better. I've been here for a lot of days at this point, because, you know, it's important to get ready for the jet lag. All right. All the colors in. Did you bring your boar hat? I did not. I, I also forgot to tap the, 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 the token. What's that this thing? I don't know. Uh, Jorf. Do you know Jorf that my friend over here, Alfred, was the the one who gave me the present of the boar hat? Anyway, we do the infamous... Actually, I'm not even going to bother tapping because I should have tapped and get one line. Alright, let's untap. Die, my kid. I'm just drawing two more cards than ever. <laughs> All right, I'll pass. I'll pass because I got a block here. I have to block and play my combat trick. Like, you never want to play defensive combat trick, but I think I'm just behind now. I used to be ahead, but... I don't know, just missing the land drop was pretty brutal. All right, let's tap the... the soldier token. All right, that's okay. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, I'm gonna throw myself out of the cliff. No, I'm not going to, sorry. Yeah, I just completely wasted the turn. It's just too threatening. I can six mana just guy, you know? Thank you, MTG Mickey. Stumped Rider, that's fine. Can I draw a land deck? Can you, can you give me a land? Am I asking for much? I think I, I feel that I'm going to draw land, so I'm not going to untap this, okay? I feel I'm going to draw land here. 
Hey, Dakolali. All right, let's play my couple squirrel leader. Don't counter opponent. All right, counter there. And I'll pass the turn. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of my opponent. I think they're cooking up something over there. Think you are. Kind of would have been too much. Oh, it's never too much. If you decide to run the Brakenir or three possibilities turn this missile in your deck, nothing is too much. You can do anything you want. Is Basilex Dream Trawler? Uh, instead it's just Delswift to Conquest Dead, no big deal. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna block the Stampede Rider. It's less damage, but this card comes back from the graveyard. I don't think people will bring the rule, no. They might bring Mono right if they want to play an aggressive deck. Mono right is good. Okay, do we want to tap? So, I kind of wanted to play an Elias Forerunner. And put a counter on this guy. I think that's good enough. I'm going to go decline again. Play my Nalias 4 runner and attack for 5. I think it's time to get in now because we have the aspect of the Manticore in our hand and this card is Trample. So, opponent might be in danger here. Second level for the Elspeth. They have the Underworld Ranger in the graveyard. They have two cards in end. Again, we're doing pretty well here. I can also just untap this and tap this guy. Like, the Lyra can tap two creatures if you tap one in their turn. Okay. So, no more Trample to all my guys. That's annoying. And, ma porca merda. They just killed all my creatures. I can't believe it. Yes. <laughs> They kill all my creatures, and they drew a card that I can't cast. Alright, we'll do their return. So, uh, I guess I'll pass. Beat Mango 2-0, by the way. 2-0, not even close. Actually, it's not, it's not, it's not that over yet. Okay, so they reanimate the shark, the short kraken with a counter on it. So that's a large threat. But if I draw forest, I can, I can, I can get this. So I go to combat. I'll, I'll let them go. They attack. That's good, because I, I'm ready here. I'm ready with my aspect of the manticore to eat up their flavor of your flavor of your rowas. I could have tapped this guy, but if they cast actually it's like I can't believe that my opponent has two mountain, two planes, three islands in play. And just drew Actos and casted it. My opponent is exactly what gives you hope in the world. What did I, what did I choose? That's actually cool though, because I can tap it. That's pretty lucky though. I can tap it with the liar. Uh, I don't even know why I tapped. Alright, so... Very close to be that on board. So the liar will tap the Akdos there. And I have to chump block the Kraken. Go to two life. Akdos with counter backup, yeah. The other opponents have built outrageous decks, but still defeated me. So, that says something about my...
I don't have any out. <sighs> Great game opponent. Ah, that is a, that is an experience. That is an experience that we that we did all together. We have lost to the Actos Short Kraken deck. You can't even cast Actos in your Boris deck. That is that is true. In fact, a very good training indeed. All right. I think this is like the fifth hand that I see one force only, or else Mulligan this hand. Oh wow, this is a great hand of magic. Who plays first? Our, our opponent. That's fine. Yeah, Tron every time, right? Natural Tron. It's like when you play against like Drazi Tron and they have Tron. Uh, I'll just play my Nation or be loud. I, I don't want to. Don't want to trade. I don't want to trade. I have big hope about my top deck. Exactly. I'll I'll do that. Got Doctor Go Dead. I have Doctor MC MRCC. If you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, you can know all about my troubles. And where I am right now, attacking with an Ord Beetle into a Warden of the Chain. You see my opponent will block. My opponent is very smart, guys. Very smart. Alright, let's play the Hyrex Tower Scout. Untap this. So I can double block this guy if they play a 4 power creature. The decklist will go out on Wednesday. Question mark by Ishimuza. Ishimuza, tell us everything you need. You look like you're looking for answers. Scopos Mazes Warden. This does not look very good here. Alright, so if I attack and they double block. Yeah, I don't like that. Am I just. Because this guy's annoying. I think I just have to pass and play Aspect of the Manticore. Because I can just pump this. So this is we're going to be able to attack. The attack with all. You didn't attack the attack. This is plus two plus zero first strike. Which means that if I put it with a blocked. I would have played my combat trick and killed the Warden of the Chain. That was the reason why we attacked. Scoposone pumps. The opponent is ready to jam. We just we just have to do like a stupid play here. There's not much you can do about this. We just have to hope they don't have any combat trick or removal spell. Opponent don't have anything, please. Opponent don't have anything, please. I need you to not have anything. I need you to have six on this combat phase. And go to second main phase and play a shitty creature. In order to have any chance in this game. Looks like it is. Wow, that actually happened. I'm so happy. That is perfect. I could not have pictured a worse card from my opponent to cast than Nexus Warden. Thank you very much. Okay, let's just play Stampede Rider, which finally enough triggers itself to on my opponent's turn. So it will be a 3-4 on my opponent's turn. In the meanwhile, the chase in the streets of Honolulu continues. They always ask me, why Mango do you still live in the small town and you don't move to a bigger town? Because in my small town, we don't have police cars chasing each other every 10 minutes. So that, I don't know, like, yeah. Like, well, one time I was in Milan, like, same thing, all the time, ambulance, four men, police cars, like. But anyway, this is cool, like, remember, Stampede Rider triggers on your opponent's turn, too, okay? So, yeah, what happened here is I went just jump attack, because this card has to attack. Where is it? So, funnily enough, we were in an almost unlosable position, but then our opponent did nothing last turn, because I count this card as nothing, and then now Relentless Pursuit, so... We're back in it, guys. We're back in it.
We also drew forest for our for our girl Renata. Which is four power, which means that boom, boom, boom. Look at the triggers. All those triggers. I just attack with all here. What can go wrong? No, it's not really that. It's just that the, the police cars are very loud. Like, I just feel like, I don't know, like, very loud. I guess sometimes there might be also, like, some other, like, not, not necessarily only police car, also something else. Anyway, we drew land, and they played a 4-5, which, which, funnily enough, stopped all our cards. My suggestion, usually, whenever you have this card against a red-green deck, is just to not do anything. and Just pass the turn. Because this card can just grow as large as, like, ever. So, all you do is just, yeah. Die, no. Oh, why? They assembled the Portis of Betrayal's Couples World Leader combo. Oh, they're gonna, they stole my National Orbital, attack me for a lot with it, and then sacrifice it. I thought it was winning this game, but I am in fact losing right now. It's a new haircut? Yes, yes, I did a new haircut before going for worlds. Oh lord, my opponent decided to do this attack now. Which is pretty bad, because now they have to like sacrifice in combat phase if they want this guy to survive to sacrifice this. Anyway, how do we block? This is a 4-5. I guess I just block like this. Yeah. Yeah, now my opponent is like forced to sacrifice this in combat so it takes zero damage. If I put it only attacks with this guy here, like things are good. Why did he oh stampy right, sure. Hopefully they just don't sacrifice and just kill this so I, re so I return this national beetle. That would be nice. When are you flying? I'll fly back home on Monday the 17th. Okay, so I don't take 7. I'm just I'm also gonna mill some cards just to gain life. Like, obviously I can mill like, good cards and complain about how unlucky I get. But most of the time, that just like it's gonna be a random card, so it doesn't matter. And I can gain a life. Or I can just draw a very good card too, you know? That's also that possibility. Um, now that I have this guy that can't port into betrayal combo me again. Anyway, I'm gonna attack with both of my creatures. I will Sun Sword. Okay, Poison's five. They have a lot of cards in hand though. For Rachel's Typhon. And Stampede Rider. Alright, the whole team is in. All the triggers. By the way, funny how I plan to play this card and get literally zero life out of it. Draw Forest. So, Scopus War Leader, they just have way too many things in the graveyard. Like, I basically can't attack anymore. I'm just gonna play my land, mill some cards, and pass the turn. Buongiorno. Yeah, my bug is gone because I put a combo off with Portent of Betrayal plus Scopus War Leader and take control over it. Which is probably one of the few ways that Red Green can deal with like a large threat like that. Alright, so we're gonna steal Milan of turn. I, I doubt that we're gonna lose of decking. If we lose, it's because we lose. And just like putting lands in the graveyard and gaining life, it's a like if this card can on average gain us some life, it's like a big deal. That's a weird play. I put a reanimated debt. This is a 4 2 in the face of a 4 5. This card has to attack every turn. I'm surprised when I did that. I guess they have a combat trick. Alright, let's mill. Obviously, you can mill like a good card and be like, oh, I shouldn't have milled, but the reality is that you should mill, okay? So just don't even bother to look at what you what do you what do you have in your graveyard. Like obviously you can't mill too much, like at some point I will stop, but for now I think I'm fine. Also I have one escape card in my deck. So what do they do? Five life. Return to nature or my scholar grove dancer. That is fine, I'm gonna smeal some cards over. Let's gain some life. Alright. 
no more gaining life. I have 17 cards in the deck. It's plenty to finish the game without being decked. So they have to attack with this and a block. This is a 3-4, so it can block their 3-4, and I can take 5. Plus it's design. Alright. This card does not give trample, but it's good enough to win the game here. Just can't get your break here. We lost every time. I mean, this is game one, granted, but I felt going in my way very much, and then it just did not go anywhere. It's not no block. But give my opponent the boar head experience of just giving minus 10 to your opponent. Alright, we have four Nessian Horn Beetle in our deck. Four. And Nessian Horn Beetle is a great card against Red Green, because they usually have very few ways to deal with a large threat, so we have four of this card. I think I'm gonna start in uh, Giant Growth is good. I'm gonna board up Bronze Sword. I'll keep Mystic Repeal. They could play something like this. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Starman, Mr. Starman with the red gray mirror match. Although they have the combo portent of the trail, maybe because if I only have one way to sacrifice, I'm not a fan of playing threatened, but maybe like it's good enough. Die, come on, Starman. Let's play. I want to play, play, play against the Star Man. You like the Channel Fireball T-shirt? Yep. Yeah, it's very good that they have one per, well, almost one per each counter. It's actually a, a very, very cool thing that they, the Channel Fireball does. It's like, all right, very good end. I've been missing very good ends like this. Two drop, three drop, five drop. Bring us the trophy pet, indeed. They can't, so. Alright, they're about to get into five. Which. It's not great. I would not be wanting to mine into five. Let's. Let's entertain ourselves with us all that the, the arena. Oh no, they're into four. Man, that four is very little. I think with the new Mulligan rule, Mulligan into four is like. I don't even know how. I, I don't know. <sighs> oh, well, thank you very much, Livid, for the raid. We're playing Livid right here. From the look of this hand, it looks like our deck is pretty cool. India is not great, and also put Mulligan to four cards. So we would win with literally anything, even with a bunch of Pulse Wayfarer. Ragrim Power, yeah, but there's a Ragrim Mirror. We lost the Ragrim Mirror in game one, but we're gonna win game two. And then who knows what's gonna happen. Look at this Nelia's Wait for Runner just triggering my whole board state. Boom. Hello, Velox. Thank you, thank you. We play Draft, we play Draft. I don't really play Sealed. Okay. I did like the, the most amazing curve ever, and I put a mulligan to four. Like, such a waste. Such a waste. Hey Gira, what's what's tonight? What's tonight in the store or format? Actually, wait, it's it's night over there. So are are you actually playing something right now? Okay, this this performance made me think that I have a good deck. So I'm actually glad that finally I got some some self esteem here. All right, start yawning. The the tiredness start kicking in. Woke up this morning at seven thirty a.m. Not that late. The few previous days I woke up at like six a.m. every night because of the every morning because of the jet lag. But now I think I perfectly record from the jet lag. Is it that next to you? No, it's Alfred one nine nine one. Playing only a bear until turn four. Uh, yeah. 
It's not all in the air, it's multiple creatures. The Night Terror's Draft. Did you force Red Green? That's also what I did. Because I heard that the Imposter Santopil is the most successful archetype, so I was like, let's force Red Green. Do you still play real card tournament? Yes. The plus double star sword is bad. It's not bad, it's just that I bought it in... Uh, I bought it in Giant Strand in this matchup. I think Giant Strand is pretty good if your opponent doesn't have like bounce spell or like removal spell. I had an out game one. I didn't do the math. I assumed I was like super dead on board. I'm sorry if I wasn't. Anyway, I'm opponent with a classic mono green hand from the red green deck. Oh no, never mind. They found their mountain, so they unlocked. Oh wow, it's so lucky to be able to cast Anax on turn three. This might be the, the luckiest place, the luckiest play ever to be able to play Anax on turn three. Double writing a deck with eight sources is very very bad. Hello, Lelouch. Lots of Chimera. Yeah, I was missing these cards. This card would have been so good in my deck. What should I? What should we do? Because this card is annoying. I don't want to trade. So you know what? I will trade. I will trade Anax with Chimera. I get a token out of it, and also remove this. Oh wow, they don't block. That's unexpected. I thought for sure they would have blocked. They're definitely behind, so they need to block. Forcing black green. Forcing is always weird. Like I don't think I've I've seen any 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 black card in this. Actually, I did. I don't know. Yeah, forcing two colors only. So I I don't mind forcing black. Like when when the peach is gonna come, I'll probably just force black. It works because I think the black is just that good, that much better than the rest. But forcing to only two colors is is not great. Like for also like black plays so well with all the colors. Oh, warden of the chain. That would have been a good draw if I had a national beetle around. Okay, my opponent, funnily enough, just, like, can easily deal with my board state. I can't play, so they have this Hydra's Growth, will, which will be very hard to deal with. So I'm going to play Warden of a Chain Attack with Annex. They will, they will very unlikely block, so I'm just going to get in for 4 damage. My opponent's not killing the Annex. Uh, this card is more threatening. Uh, Annex, I mean, Annex is a good card, but... What makes black so good? If you take a look at the at the at the commons that are in black, you have like there's not a single common that's unplayable. Oh, sorry, there's one only con common that's unplayable. And black is just very deep. Quack quick we you unlock the raviolo badge. How does it feel to be a raviolo? Nine months, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Glad to catch you again. Yes, we are drafting some uh, Red green shining guys. I'm is playing boggles here. They have a some chimera with a hydra's growth, setasan training, and two were briar blessing. Okay, what should we do? If I play this Nalias Forerunner and attack with all, they block that and they take six. They go to five life. So actually I'm just gonna play this and pass. I think my opponent doesn't have any creature, so I'm just gonna one shot them next turn. What's the sugo? You can decide. I give you freedom. Yeah, I give you freedom to decide what's the, the sauce for your ravioli. Right, it's called a Grove Dancer. No, we can't tap that thing because the liar says uh, power. My opponent creature power is 9, so it's pretty hard to tap. Hydra's Growth is a very good card. I disagree, Zio Cairo Shock. I think Hydra's Growth is not very good. It's great against Red Green because they have no removal spell or bounce spell, but if in a normal deck, it's, it's not that good. Okay, I'm just going to play Liar, top the Grove Dancer, attack with it all. And, uh... Mm, actually, I'm not going to do that because that's not going to be lethal. So I put my point into one life. Also, they can just mill something. So I'd rather just play my dudes and pass the turn. I guess I should have played Stumpy Rider over Liar. For some reason, I thought it was lethal, but I'm not lethal. Plus, they can just, just like, mill a land and survive. I don't think there's any way I lose if I just keep on passing the turn, developing my boards to them. Too. Are we winning? I would say I were losing. I just attack with all my creatures at some point. They're in 11. My creatures are very large. They never a spell in play, plus, like, more threats. 
They have drawn eight lands and I'm drawn five. That's usually the tiebreakers between winning and losing. Okay, what about now? Do we win now? Had I played Stumped Rider instead of Lyra, I would have won the game this turn, but instead I, I chose to play Lyra. Which was, in fact, a mistake. So if I tap this and attack with all, they have two blockers, they block the two largest. They take four, seven, ten. So they go to one yet again. So I'm just going to deploy a Stumped Rider. Actually, a Colossus. Yeah, this looks better, right? A Colossus and Pass. My opponent goes to one again, so I just don't wanna I just don't wanna risk anything. Because they could gain some life, so they, I just don't wanna put them to one and lose two creatures, you know. I will, Igor. Only for you though. Don't you have trample? Uh don't you have trample? That is a good point. I forgot about trample. Yeah, I guess I did have lethal. I did have lethal. Although they gain life. I don't know. I don't know. Probably I did have lethal with the trample. I definitely Miscounted there. Okay, they have a 21, 21 trample. I have to I actually forgot that they have trample. They have the trainings in this pile of enchantments. Yeah, so we basically missed lethal and our opponent could kill us, which is a classic thing that happens in the game of Magic the Gathering. But thankfully, they just drew another land, so. Are we gonna go for it? Are we gonna go for it? Yes. I'm gonna tap. The Scholar Grove Dancer and a right click attack with all and hope that's enough. Lethal two turns ago. Uh, I think I counted two turns ago. I did not, but if I did, that's fine. I think I'm still winning. Alright, so the block 21 21 on the 6 7. Oh, we have something. It's gonna mill something with the Scholar Grove Dancer, I assume. Is that Honolulu? That's just an hotel in Honolulu, yes. Right now Honolulu is very dark since it's midnight. Midnight 7 p. Midnight 7. Oh, this, is, this is super lethal, guys. Super lethal. I didn't want to count. Yeah, good game. It was it was little last turn. I, I forgot that Nightly as a forerunner as a as trample. I troll as the five three. Yeah, I could lose there. Okay, we won. We're two and one with this red green deck. So let's get some more. Playing bronze sword. Bronze Sword. Can you imagine playing Bronze Sword? What's the format for Hawaii? It's a draft and standard. This ends pretty bad. I'm gonna ship it. Or right, that's a good end instead. I'm gonna get rid of Aspect of the Manticore. I just prefer to have like a creature curve on the draw rather than have a combat trick. Alright. Also, thank you very much, Magic Arena, for providing me the aspect of the Manticore. Well, I think the reason why we're losing is actually because I have not changed my sleeves. Nobody in the chat said anything. I was playing without sleeves. That's unacceptable. What would have happened if opponent had blocked 1-1 one, one with 2 and 20 one, two, one trample? I would have taken 20 damage and would have died. Yeah, if you block a creature, you deal damage. No, I'm joking. No, sorry. It's just that nothing happens. Thank you, Darky Jerky Kakakaka. Kakaka. Okay, I got a lot of uh, these dudes. I'm just gonna attack because I don't wanna just you know I'm just gonna deploy my threat and if I put in blocks I just play the aspect of the mantic or it's good. I'll play Annex. Taranika. All right, the bear came here. This is a pretty reasonable curve. I'll go to 17. Uh, I really needed a land here. We kept it. 
We kept a pretty okay hand, it's just that it didn't work. Alright, so, plays that I can make. It's pretty hardcore, but I can go Aspect of the Manticore on the Anax. And make this a 3-3. Three, three. I think I like it. I think I'm slightly too behind here. So I need to just, like, start developing my board. Can you say it? Yeah, you, you, you think right, Winter. Oh, wow, it double blocked. That was unexpected. That was an unexpected play. Sure, so we traded Taranika for Anax and I get a Seder and a counter on this. Or two Seders. Yeah, this is not bad. I'm happy with this trade. Taranika is annoying, especially if they have ways to like pump it or defend it. Whereas that gets vigilance, whereas this card you have to tap it. Whoa, rumbling sentry. Stigazzi. Okay, what to do? I can play the liar and tap this guy down next turn. Or I can just cast two two drop. I think two true drops is better. If I then draw land, I cast this Copolos and pump all my team. Uh, no, I never played on Cockatrice. I always played on M Magic Board Station. Cockatrice came after I stopped playing Magic Board Station. I played very little of Cockatrice, yeah. Okay, the Beatles are here. Actually, mm, yeah, there's a lot of Beatles around. We should definitely clean. Change your tail out for it. There's too many Beatles. Three beetles right here. In ready for words? Very ready. I'm ready to win everybody's wild cards and trophy pet chat. I'm doing only for you. Alright, gotta pass because they have the rumbling sentry. Pretty big blocker. I think they're also pretty flooded. Like, they did nothing this turn. I'm surprised. So they tried to race me, but if they have... No what well, it scribbles on top, though, so that's not a good sign. They could have some double blue card. Alright, I drew an island, so they have some some double blue card. Sea guard, okay. Okay, what if I draw a land here? That, that would not be bad. Instead, I draw a shitter. One of the shitty. Yep, I gotta pass. I'll top this Chimera. And, you know, then... Then just live my life. Just leave my life. Topping down. The decks will go out Tuesday, yeah. Oh, they play Omen of the Sea because I really want to pump the Chimera. Hopefully not. It was supposed to pay four just in case. Oh no, both on top? No, don't tell me you found something to save this. No. Okay, go to four. I have so few time. I have just one window. I guess I should have just... Wait, what's this attack? Don't block with all. I think they have, three land. I have, they have two lands in end. They have two lands in end, I'm pretty sure. So I'm pretty happy with this trade. Uh, yeah, definitely take action. I think I should have just stopped in my turn. I don't know why I didn't. I should have just stopped this guy in my turn. Also, I'm just drawing like the worst card of my deck in a row. But anyway, let's just pass here. I should have just done this in my turn. That was a mistake. Yeah, I should have done it in my turn. I do on. Okay, do they have a land? They uh, no, they don't have a land. Wow, that's, that's unexpected. They should have played a land here to draw cards. Okay, that's, that's my land. So I'm gonna cast my Skopos, I think. Alright? Or do they have a counter? I don't think they have I don't think they have anything in their hand. I'm just gonna cast Skopos. That will grow my nation or beetle and I'll pass the turn with a very large threat. I'll scry. I feel like they've scryed this whole game every turn of the game. They're in a weird spot though, because okay, it's quite top bottom, so they draw the card. They have the island of philosophy, philosophy, but we can actually beat down next turn with these combination of cards. This becomes a four. 
Oh no. So it killed my creature. Gain for life. Oh, Furious Rise. Too bad that I don't have any four power creature my, that I own. Yeah, I'm just gonna cast a bunch of things here. Not really anything special. I could at some point just on top the liar and uh, and uh, and top this guy as well. But they're in twenty one, so it's gonna take a while before if I can make some meaningful combat. Cause I'm for life, so I'll die if you know. Troller in common. Oh yeah, yeah. A flyer. A flyer will win the. I got top deck. Top deck. That would have been good in normal circumstances. Right now, unfortunately, it doesn't do much. I can get one live, but. Whatever. Let's mail a card and see what happens. Ugh. I'm actually upset that I mailed a land because now I have to keep on playing. I could have, uh. Could have just mailed a spell and be like, oh, I'm dead, I'll concede. Instead, right now, I'll keep on playing because I could draw something else, I don't even know what. Yeah, that's right, Adris Real. That's that's exactly that's exactly when you should you should use a word. It's designed for Magic Arena. I don't even know if I have a ways to deal with uh, with a Vexen Gold. Do I have a way to deal with a two two flyer in my in my deck? I think I. Oh yeah, I have the wings of Hubris. All right, let's draw wings of Hubris. Oh, they just kill me. Okay, so they have two Spirit Mantle. Good thing I have zero removal spells, so the Spirit Mantle does nothing. Although if we tap the Chimera, maybe we could have been able to raise them this turn. Although they have Dark Sauce, it's pretty hard to raise Dark Sauce. You think it's worth to play counters in Terra Sealed? Yeah. All right, Plummet. For sure one, maybe even more than one. Maybe even more than one. Let's just try giant, uh, yeah, let's try giant strength. Giant strength is like a combat trick, and if your opponent has flyers, it could even function as a plummet. So, so it's good. I'm starting to be very, very tired, guys. So I might just turned off at some point here. The, um, it's right now midnight and 18, which is not that late, but still. My eyes are... Uh, actually, it's just like streaming, it takes a bunch of energy. So even if you're like, it's really a little bit tired, it's not it's the greatest. Stay here. Where am I? I am in hotel room in Honolulu. As you can see from my shitty microphone and camera and the fact that I'm literally on a bed while I'm doing this. You want your sleeves? I'll, I'll do my best. I hope not to this with Seagull. Alright, put a mulligan to four, which looks like a staple of this draft. Like, basically, any time I have a good hand, I'll put a mulligan to four. Honestly, it's not better for my against a four. Like, I'm not one of those guys like, oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm not. I want to win. So, people that put my against a five and say, I'm sorry. I, I don't agree. Untap. Okay. Despite for their Mulligan against a four, they're actually pretty good in a pretty good shape here. Uh, I'm just gonna play Scop uh, Scola, no Scopa, and Weeks of Hubris, and I'll pass the turn. The The problem of this deck is definitely being the 4 power creature. I missed the 4 4 Cyclops. Alright, let's Wings of Hubris, the National Orb Beetle. Now let's attack for 2. Let's play another one. As DJ Kali says, I'm gonna also. No, I'm not gonna. 
I'm not gonna move to Hyrax Towers cow. This guy's here already. Imagine if this was the chain where Arachnoab, you know, wouldn't have done much, so I'm glad. Captivating Unicorn, okay. Why a trade? Uh I don't wanna trade. This card is I don't know. I feel like their card is better than mine. And I'm ahead here, I don't wanna trade. Okay, if you're a rise for a future, if I draw forest, I can play this and start. Fewer rising right fewering rising some stuff here. My opponent mulligan to four and is definitely, definitely, definitely in this game. Alright, let's block with uh, Tyrant Scout if they have a combo trick, so be it. Oh actually, no, I made a mistake. I see two of the spirit mantle. Ma porca merda. I've seen two of this card. How do I make this play now? Oh, that's so awful. I should have double blocked with this called Grove Dancer and the Tower Scout. Oh, Capitana. Alright. Let's draw Forest. That, yeah. Forest for the win. See. Okay. All good, guys. All good. Don't worry. Don't worry, chat. We had this all the time. We had it uh, always. Yeah, those kind of. Yeah. I was just missing all the flyers, basically. And not a national beetle. Hello, Valfather. I'll save the last bounty while tap my 6 7. Can you imagine my opponent winning this game? That'd be. That'd be insane. Brian Giant. Wow. I think I have to kill Taranika. Actually, maybe not. Maybe I don't have to kill Taranika. I will have 3 4 4 next turn. Yeah, I'm just gonna take 8 damage. What can go wrong, right? What can go wrong? Aspect of the Manticore is a good one. Do I want to move the equipment on the Colossus and attack them so that they have a two turn clock? I probably want to do so. I can also just attack with the. So I'll move the wings into Colossus and then attack with everything with all my beetles. I'll put an intent to block. I think I like it. So the beetles grow. And then attack with them. I don't attack with the Scala because then if they could go 4-4 four, four here and 5-6 here. And I only have one pump, one combo. If I can give protection, but I, I, I'm still I'm still in this, even if they give protection, because I'm on the M18 life. So we kill that. Maybe we were supposed just to attack with the 6-7 and pass the turn, that would have been safer. That would have been safer, maybe. What do I do? Alright, oh, they gave four life. Uh, but it's still fine, right? So, I'll do pass. I'm just, yeah, I'm just just chump block two of these. Just chump blocking two of these. I died to any enchantment, you say? Oh wow. That is crazy. I would have died to any enchantment. Alright, I'm not very. <laughs> not playing very tight. <laughs> Drew's a pretty reasonable card here. Left Le on Mist. They have lethal. If I attack with all last turn, I could have had lethal, yeah. I could have a lethal last turn, yeah. Alright, what do they do here? What do they do here? Please, just die. Alright, thanks. We'll put a mulligan to four. We played as worse as we could have, but we still managed to win. 
Yeah, he wasn't. Yeah, my opponent would have blocked with more things if they were threatening to die last turn, right? And now I think I think so. What we should have done was just attack with a flyer last turn and not attack with all my creatures. I just passed the turn. I just drew this Manticore and I thought that you know I had to play in a way where I had to cast it that turn, but it, it's not like that. It's not that if you draw a card you have to play it. So we should have just passed there. Alright, Mr. OC9. Mengu O9 against OC9. Who is the 9 that will win the... I should gain chance. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, I didn't get it. I'm sorry, chat. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna, I'm definitely gonna stop, stop streaming now, <laughs> after this game chat, I'm sorry, I am, um, I'm not very, playing very tight. I thought, I, th I thought for some reason that, I don't know, my point was like, not a, <laughs> that low a life. <laughs> Let your friend play. I'm, I'm letting I'm, I'm letting chat. I'm letting chat enjoy enjoy the chat lethal. That's nice. All right, all right. This is a this is a hand. This is a hand. I like this hand. I've not revealed my standard deck yet. It's gonna be on Wednesday. Oh yeah, what do you do? What do you do? Alright, planes. Pass. Okay, I kept the two lander and draw two lands, so this is definitely exactly what how we, this should go. You you could vote for Twitch at the words for sure. I mean Twitch chat will be at words. It will be very popular. It will be very popular. I hope this words will be the most viewed event ever. People will still complain about the embed views and think and say that because they just like to say those things. But I do still think that there's a lot of very good advertisement, so people will definitely tune for worlds. Alex, in your opening end, I think it's more like it's more lucky, like not real, not not joking. It's more lucky. It's sorry, it's luckier to have two mountains in your hand than Anax. Alex is just one out of, I actually don't know about that, but it should be, maybe. That's luckier to draw two mountains than one Alex. Them together is like literally the luckier ever. Let's check. I'm glad to hear that, Lariel. Who changed to memory? Oh my god, this is the first time in the ever that this card actually did something. Does anybody ever see this card work in in, in in standard? I mean it's still it's still fine, but like this is this is this is cool. Alright, see. The classic double white into double blue on turn four. And that's basically what we're doing with our deck as well, but this is could be a five in power, so I'm definitely gonna attack with it. I'll put it with not block. Alan just play a Stampede Rider post combat. Or I guess they do. Alright, yeah, I, I love to just have like combo tricks like this reminds me of Feral Invocation. Do you guys remember Feral Invocation from M20? It was one of my favorite combo tricks. And whatever aspect of the Manticore does that, it really, it really makes You can't remember? Well. Yeah, oh, oh, for this, yeah, definitely. Oh, Lord. Well, just attack for six here. What are they holding? What are they holding? You have a triumphant stage. Okay, make two tokens. Uh, what do we do? I'm just going to cast Stampy Rider and the Wingos, Winds of Hubris. Wings of Hubris. 
Max will get stopped by this, so it's all good. Oh yeah, yeah, not to, another 2-5. So it's actually pretty good. We do have the liar, but still solid. Alright, I was going to play a, li a liar and tap that guy, but I'd rather just I'd rather just deploy this. Since I have wings of hubris, I just want to play a threat so the next turn I can equip it and attack for four. I'm streaming from Honolulu. And I am actually, it's midnight and 31, I am not playing my best magic today, probably going to end this after. But my connection, actually I'm going to change the hotel tomorrow, but that connection here was, was very good. And uh, the computer, it's obviously not going to be as good as my microphone or my, my webcam, but I think it, I think I, I can, I can stream again tomorrow. If you guys are there, I'm gonna be streaming limited though. I'm not gonna play constructed, but I think it's good. Limited too. Can okay, explore Colossus? Hmm. Uh, let's just let's just equip attack for four, and uh, yeah, that's it. Play my liar. Pass the turn. This requires three cards, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think I, I did the speed test, and this internet was even faster than the one I have at home. So it's definitely, it's definitely good internet, which is so strange for an hotel. Hotel in the flight from Hawaii to Italy is uh, roughly twenty-eight hours from Italy to Hawaii. I mean, I live in a small town, so I had to do two layovers. If you fly from like Rome, maybe there's only one layover. If you have like Rome, Los Angeles, Los Angeles, uh, Honolulu. Captivating Unicorn, Vabian. I love Wings of Ubers. Whenever you play Red Green, Wings of Ubers. I would love to draw land here and start bashing for six in the air. Who pays the travel? For this for the large event wizards, for the smaller one I pay. Uh, I don't think Rotting Regisor is a very powerful card. Uh, it is it is nice in some games, for example, against some matchups like Monoret, Guru is a great card. But most of the time, people just exploit it rather than you attacking for six. Like if, yeah, especially in Pioneer where I think you have better options. It takes a long to exploit it because you play in turn three, then you get uh, things on turn four, you know. You probably just Teferi bounce it. Like any form with Teferi, I think a Regisor gets like worse and worse. Wow, sleep of the opponent is playing both the like most unplayable blue card, Chain of the Memory, and Sleep of the Dead. I really recommend you guys not to play these cards in your in your decks. Anyway, they're attacking me, so I'll block. I go to fourteen, eighteen to fourteen, and my turn. Okay, this is top. Oh, we'll untap. Actually, we probably want to tap because my opponent will tap it again. Wow, it's three cards. You have so many cards. Oh, Lord. So I could tap this one. So I could tap the sea girl. Move that. That way I can attack for three. For three in the air and four on the ground. Yeah, it's a good play, I think. I'll open it up with attack for two. But I think I'm fine trading three damage for two. So I'll top this one. Then I'll move the equipment on the stampede right. Oh, they have spirit mantle in their hand. Or oh wow, they even tapped that pre-combat. That's rough. That's very rough what happened here. I also should have I also should have just moved the equipment and attack for one. I didn't do that. Anyway, let's pass the turn.
We missed a point, but maybe it's not gonna matter. Okay, they drew Taranika. It's not that relevant. I mean, it's always a good card, but it's not that relevant. What will attack with all? Getting for 8 damage. 8 damage is a lot of damage. They play a lot of flyers, and then suddenly they just don't have any flyer anymore, so my plummet. Looks pretty bad. Okay, I go to 6 life here. They can tap my Nyx Rock Classes again. Toshi Dyer, if you want to know more about Terrace Limited, I, su I suggest you to check my article on Channel Fireball. You write on Google, Menguchi Theros pre-release. I wrote a pretty good article about Limited. Always on the Lulu, I love it, I love it. Beautiful city. Beautiful, beautiful cult culture, sorry, um, culture too, I guess. Uh, uh, like, like, environment. All right, definitely take action, it's, it's, it's top nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah, we drew a land here, are we dead on board? I think we are. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we aren't. Alright, this time I won't miss the three point of damage. Okay, so I'm tapping what? Taranika, maybe? Hello, Crookids. Yeah, I figured uh, tonight. I was. I did a draft on my computer in my room, and then I was like, I can just stream this, right? If the, con the connection is very good, so yeah. It's... But in my draft that I did it alone, I did draft a pretty good deck. Oh, so I just... Oh, cr all right, all right. I'm gonna blame this this mistapping on Crookids. Crookids, how does it feel to make me to make me misclick and, and lose the game because...